should go red in a minute. Uh, hello everybody. Uh -oh. <laughs> nice to see you. Hello. Um, I hope that you're all right enjoying this last day of summer. Guys, and so we're just letting everybody in as quickly as we can. We can't hear it very well. Okay, well, we'll give people another minute just in case. Um, and just while we're doing that, so you know, we are recording um, the session. So for those of you who are at the end of the day, they can go back and watch it. Or if you enjoy it you know, that much, you could maybe pop it on to the podcast place and watch again. Entirely up to you. Um, so it's just a bit of basic information um, checked in your kits and that maybe last year. Um, Timetabling and presentation. So, oh, I don't think we're going to. Someone waiting. Oh, there. So, we're going to do a few slides each. You'll be glad to hear that my slides are at the beginning of the meeting so that we don't overwhelm. So, any extra time I take can be gained back by lovely Mrs. Day or lovely Mrs. James. Um, but basically, the things we're going to cover in this meeting are the staffing, um, what we're doing timetable-wise, um, what topics we're looking at, trips and events, um, key equipment, um, other things we should bring to school, like the snacks, um, and we talk about pants cases, experts of, um, experts, expectations of our behaviour, um, any rewards, the homework situation, uh, communication between you guys and us, any medical issues, and what should be in very tiny letters at the bottom, SATs. It's only a very tiny part of year six, but we will touch on it a little bit today. So, staff, we um, hopefully, you know who I am. I've been here forever. I've taught probably most people's brothers or sisters who are older than the people in year six at the minute. I am Mrs. Preston. Um, I'm in six uh, with Mrs. Day, and we have Mrs. James here who is in six speech. We also are very pleased to welcome. Mrs. Cosma, who is joining us um, virtually somewhere, um, and she is being our um, additional teacher to year six this year, which means that we can have three groups of around 20 children in each group for maths and for English, which means that we get to spend more one to one time with each child in those important core subjects, which is really beneficial, we found over the last few years. Obviously, we had disrupted years last year and the year before but with fingers crossed and a, and a good wind behind us we will hopefully have a normal teaching year this year so we'll be in for all 38 teaching weeks which should be lovely um so up to the sats we will have this extra group um these are our rules that we had for covid19 that were implemented in 2020 so early last year quite a lot of them are staying the same but many are changing so i've really pop this on here so that we can talk you through exactly what is staying and what is going. Um, we are still going to maintain our hand hygiene and our table hygiene. Um, we have found that not only did we manage to keep a lot of COVID at bay last year, we had a lot less sickness from many other things. Admittedly, children weren't going lots of different places and visiting lots of people, but we do think that the extra hand washing and uh, table cleaning helps. So we are going to maintain that with our hand sanitizer um, and that will be done when they basically enter or leave the classroom. So we're keeping that. We are not keeping bubbles um, and they are able to now play on the on the playground. Um, we've kept year three and four and year five and six play time separate to give them more space and it works out on the timetable, but they can move within those two year groups on the playground which was very sweet the first day they all turned up and stuck very rigidly to the little areas they'd been given last year like mm. no you can run free and they were like oh really i can go on the other bit of the playground like yep yeah, off you go so they're allowed to go around and um play on all the different bits and pieces um so next slide please lovely um we will still only use our own equipment we have given every child a pack again a little pack it's like a pencil case this time around um, and they have their own glue stick, ruler, pencil, rubber, pen, purple pen, all the things that they need. 
yes, we did it for COVID-19 last time around, but we kept it because it was really handy knowing that everybody had everything they needed right in front of them and we didn't have to hand anything out, collect anything in. It also encourages uh, responsibility with our year sixes because this time next year, you'll be talking to a completely different school. Um, so they will have to be in control of their own um, personal items at secondary school. So it's a good little learning curve for them to be able to do it here as well. Um, Da, 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 wiping down, I've done that one. Um, following instructions of, um, and we've taken out the one way system. So that is one thing that has gone. Uh, we've done that to ease things like assemblies, which are back. So we can get more groups into the hall and out of the hall quicker. Okay, next slide. That's fine. This is our timetable. Goodness gracious, isn't it busy? Um, if you want um, to have a copy of this, and that's fine, we can get one out to you if need be. It may well change as the year goes on, as we focus on different areas or fit things around to suit the needs of our classes um, better. But we will predominantly start with uh, our daily mile at 10 past nine, which will be after some sort of morning work, maybe a math more like maybe spellings, but also um, some reading on a Wednesday. We will have maths for an hour, then a break. Then we will have an assembly for most days, except on Tuesday, where we've got a reading mop up after our comprehension. Writing will be every day before lunch, which leaves all the other stuff in the afternoon. So we'll be covering PSHE, learning journey, which covers geography, history, art and design, technology, um, ooh, all the other things, history um, within the learning journey, RE, PE, PSHE, computing, more reading, all in the afternoon and the two slots for British Sign Language, which is our language that we are teaching the children now, which is fab. So what has changed? In summary, assemblies are back. It's been lovely. We had our first assembly last Friday and it was really lovely seeing all the children in the hall all together with all the staff. Um, so that's great. And the kids are really pleased that they're back as well. Uh, we have no class bubbles anymore, um, so everybody can mingle about. That's really good for our year sixes because it means that there will be proper roles for mm -hmm. house captains and monitors, um, which means that they can go um, and do all the things that year six monitors used to do. But you'll hear more about that in time. Um, staffing has changed. So year five, there was many more adults in their room. Predominantly when I am teaching in fur or Mrs. Day is teaching in fur, it's just us in there. There's no additional adults in there. Mrs. Cosma is in um, her room on her own. And we have one lovely Mrs. Haddock who has stayed with the year group, who has kind of spread across all of us um, in assisting our teaching. We are currently um, advertising for more um, help in um, the upper school. So if you know anyone or yourself fancy a little uh, <laughs> learning support job in um, our wonderful school we have here, then please apply. Um, but hopefully that, that will, will increase that. We're also asking for parent helpers. Again, if any of you want to come in and help with our daily readers or some fun, fun arithmetic games, um, etc., then also do apply for that. That's coming out to you soon as well. So staffing is very different. I think the children are used to having a lot more adults around, so they need to learn to maybe be a little bit more patient and um, be aware that we have got to deal with everybody in the classroom. We haven't got anybody extra coming in. It's working fine at the minute, but it's just a change that I thought I'd let you know about. And the last one is we have reduced our number of topics in year six from six to five, which means that we can cover the topics. Uh, they're half termly. But we have this little thing called Sats Week that happens a few weeks after um, Easter, which messes up those half termly topics. And that topic that fell in that half term was not really well covered, we felt. So instead of doing that, we're going to end a topic just before that week and we will start a new topic afterwards, which will be a really nice and clear distinction between um, those different parts of the year. So that's why we've changed that. And here they are. <laughs> so this time we're looking at blood heart. I hope that all your children have come home and told you in great detail the structure of a pig heart that we looked at on Friday. They were all very brave um, and really got stuck in and no one left the room, which is a win in our, <laughs> in our situation. It is quite a scary thing to do at the beginning of year six. Um, after half term, we look at Frozen Kingdom. It's um, a lovely topic all about um, polar exploration, the Titanic we cover in that. And it's nice and cold outside, so it fits. 
And um, we'll then be looking at the war in spring, um, Second World War and associated wars, because let's not forget that war is happening everywhere as we speak. Um, and Darwin's delight after, uh, just before SATS, which is all about evolution and Darwin. The topic we lost with Victorians, but we can bring quite a lot of that into Darwin's delight because he was a famous Victorian, so that works out quite well. Then after SATS, we have got our final topic, which is ID, which is all about self-identity and leads really well into their transition into secondary school because it's all about what makes them special and um, who they are, which is lovely for them when they're moving on. And that's the topics. OK, so trip and event. Um, so we want to make sure, obviously, that the trips that we go on are purposeful. Um, we're really hoping that our first trip is going to be to Southampton to the Titanic Museum. Mm -hmm. um, they're always linked to the curriculum. Uh, we obviously want to make them engaging and exciting and sometimes a secret um, just to kind of bring that creativity to our curriculum as well and um, obviously we will give you as much notice as possible for any trips that you need to be made aware of. Um, equipment that children will need in school so uh, we're continuing with the children coming in on a Monday and a Wednesday wearing their PE kit um, PE kit is shorts, joggers, trainers, t-shirt, and they wear their school jumper over their PE kit. So exactly as they did in year five. Um, they also need to bring in a reusable named water bottle. Um, as Mr. Preston said earlier, we have actually provided the children with a pencil case and it's got all the stationery that they need in there. So they don't need to bring anything in from home. Um, they need to uh, be wearing school shoes and um, we do do the daily mile every day so if you can make sure that those school shoes are suitable for the children to be able to do that in. Um, we ask that the reading folder is brought into school every day please um, because there are times during the day when um, we might ask the children to read um, and it also gives us a chance to just have a flick through their reading records as well. Um, a good coat is Sometimes we don't know what the weather's going to do. Um, and healthy snacks, please, for break time. Um, so fruit, vegetables, rice cakes. And we are a nut-free school, so please make sure that you don't bring in anything or your child doesn't bring in anything that contains nuts or even it may contain nuts. Um, so year six are the role models for the school. Um, and we really noticed that actually this year um, the year threes and the year sixes are very close to each other when they line up after break times and those new year threes are looking at those year sixes. So we want to make sure that they are modelling that good behaviour. Um, so we're looking for positive language, um, for them to be developing resilience and independence. Um, as Mrs Preston said earlier, um, especially in sixth fur, we it's just me and Mrs Preston. We're not in on the same days. Um, so we are expecting those children to kind of step up and be more independent. Um, we've got House Points and the Embrick Excellence Award, which is uh, shared in our celebration assemblies on Friday. Um, we also are continuing with our behaviour policy of the three card system. Um, so sorry, two card system, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's a yellow card and a red card. We don't put names up on the board. Um, so yellow is for low level behaviours, um, but if we have to keep asking the child to do something, then it becomes a red card. OK, um, and if it is a red card, then that leads to reflection time um, with the teacher in charge of the class. So there's a form that we go through with the child where um, it gives them a chance to reflect on their behaviour um, and hopefully not um, have that force so that we don't see that behaviour again in the future. So these are our golden rules. Um, so they're the same. I don't think they've changed, have they? The same as they've always been. Yeah. So I'm not going to read through those. <laughs> so home learning expectations. Um, there are a few bits and bobs to be done throughout the week, but they don't all have to be done every day. 
So spelling practice is three times a week. They will be given out in the blue homework books that go home. I'm just thinking they go home next week, I think it is. Um, so they will give it, be given a, a set of words that um, they will learn over the half term. This is slightly different from how we've done spellings before, before they would have a, you'd have a whole list of words that they would work through. Now it is a, a smaller set of, is it 15 words-ish to learn throughout the whole, throughout the half term. Um, we will test on them regularly um, and at the end of the, year, end of the um, term. So kind of to keep those consistent, but they don't all have to be learned in the first week. They can be broken up maybe three a week. So just to keep them ticking over. Um, they are going out in a letter. There will be a letter accompanying the spellings. So to explain a little bit more about that. Um, times table practice. So times table rock stars is a great way to do this. Three times a week. Um, we have a weekly competition in school. Um, the highest top three earners of points of coins in the week get a certificate at school. Um, so really to bring that like comp competitive aspect to that. Um, but that's a really great way to practice times tables. Um, daily reading and the reading records to be filled in. So five times a week, and we will check them. Um, it possibly won't be on a Friday, but we will flick through those reading records when they come in and we ensure that they're brought in each Friday, but also every day so that we can check them at each point, because sometimes Fridays can get a bit crazy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Fridays get a bit manic, but Thursdays sometimes could be can work better and things like that. So make sure those are brought in every day. Um, the home learning grid, um, again, that goes home in the blue homework book um, that will run over a whole half term. Um, and give the children lots of opportunities to have a go at some of those things with lots of creative activities on those home learning grids for them to have a go at. Again, there will be more sent out in a letter about those home learning grids as well. But if you do have any of the questions, please do ask. Um, the grammar and punctuation books, these were used for the first time last year and we're going to continue them this year. Um, they will be um, set on a Friday and they will be asked to bring them back in on the Thursday and we will go through those tricky questions and things at school. We ask that the children have a go at them at home and mark them at home, um, maybe with an adult. Um, but if an adult's got there, that is absolutely fine. Um, and then we will go through those answers and have a look at them together. Um, it's at school. Please only do the pages that we set as well, though, because yes. last year we had some very eager beavers mm -hmm. who would come and go, I've done all the book. I go, oh, no. That doesn't work out because we wanted to do those other pages later on when we were looking at that particular grammar um, sort of skill. So please just do the, the pages that we've set. Absolutely. Um, communication. Um, we will communicate with you in a very timely manner, um, but also we ask that you communicate with us um, in a manner. So please do um, give us a ring or an email or anything like that. Um, if you do want to communicate anything with us, we are always able to. Um, communicate. We will try and get back to you as soon as possible. Um, we can't guarantee it'll be the same day, but we will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, if you don't pick up your child at the end of the day, we will call you if we want to get in touch with you, um, or we might send you an email. Um, but we will we will get in touch with you absolutely. And please do get in touch with us about any positive or areas for, de de for development. We love hearing the positive things too. Mm -hmm. But absolutely, get in touch with us with uh, both of those. Um, PE. PE is twice a week on a Monday and a Wednesday and um, the children have already remembered that because they've come in, in their kits on Mondays and Wednesdays already. Monday is indoor PE, although it's not always indoor, sometimes we get outside, but it's with a class teacher and Wednesdays is with Mr Fisher. Um, earrings will need to be taken out or they can be covered with tape, which we have in class. Um, and it will be both indoor and outdoor, they will have that opportunity. Um, every week to have indoor or outdoor PE. If they could put the tape on, that would be really Yeah, if they don't need to wear their earrings to school and mm -hmm. they can take them out before school, that would be great. But if not, they can wear them to school. That's absolutely fine. Um, medical. We do ask that no products brought into school are nut products or even may contain products because we do have allergies. Um, if your child requires medication, inhalers, um, anything like that. Um, fill out a form at the office and make sure that the medication is brought in um, 
for the children to use. So that could be antihistamines, especially in the summer months when hay fever gets bad, mm -hmm. um, antihistamines and things like that as well. Let the school know and we will be anything. able to do those. We've had things like topical applications for eczema that might mm -hmm. have anything that, um, any medical condition that could interfere with learning, you know, we can, um, you know, stop that being a problem by applying if there's a cream that they need or anything else. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to just be done before and after school. If you think it would help to have it done halfway through the day, please let us know. Yes. Fill in the form and we, we can get that done. Anything we can do to help them. Absolutely. And even with cowpaw and things mm -hmm. like that, if they've got um, ear infections or anything like that and they need cowpaw at lunchtime, if you fill in a form and send it in with us, um, well, send it to the office, we will make sure that that happens as well. Um, SATs. We are not going to talk very much about this because we don't need to worry about it. Um, as far as we are aware, they are happening in May 2022. Um, however, things might change, but we are, as far as we're aware, they are happening this year. Um, it's our job as year six teachers to make sure your children are as ready as they can be for secondary school, um, not to focus on stats too much. Um, our priority is making sure they're ready for secondary school. Can I just pop yes, in? Sorry, please. I knew I'd do this. Um, I know, having worked at secondary school and having dealt with transition for many years in a row, that actually the information that the schools get regarding their SATs is pretty much just whether they've passed or not. It doesn't help them get them into the top sets or the best groups or the smaller groups or the give them the challenge. They don't find out very much from their SATs. Um, it's really not a measurement on our, the children. It's a, it's a measurement on the school and us as teachers. Um, so we really try to communicate that with the children, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, everything that we teach them, they need to learn, um, but it's not their responsibility um, to perform in these tests. Um, it's, it's our responsibility to teach them so that when they perform in the test, they do well. Do you see what I mean? It's, I feel sometimes that the, the focus is put on the child about the SATs and it's not, it's, 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 a, it's monitoring the school, not monitoring the individual child. So please, please don't worry about them is what I'm saying. We talk about them very little when we're at school. The skills they learn are very important and we need to get them ready for secondary school. That's our job to make sure they can make that jump. And it is a jump, okay? And by teaching them everything that's on the curriculum, that enables them to make that jump. It's not the testing of it that is important mm -hmm. in our eyes. OK, so please don't worry about them. Sorry. Absolutely. There will be another information evening in January, though, to um, give you more information about it and give you the opportunity to ask any questions that you might have about that. Um, there will be a slight change in homework in January to um, add a little bit of revision, but it will only be an extra 15 minutes a week, so it will not add very much at all to homework. Um, any questions? Mm. I think that's everything we wanted to say, but any questions from you? Raise a virtual hand. Or wave. I don't know what we can do now on Zoom. I've not done it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you could stop sharing and we can see yeah. a bigger screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very comprehensive. There tool. we go. Anyone have any questions at all? Surely not. I can't <laughs> possibly do a meeting that runs to time. No. Really? Well, that's fine. Um, obviously, if you do have any oh, questions, oh, back. go on then. You waited for me to sit <laughs> to think that I was think that I was going to be wrapping this up. Go on then, Mrs. Wilkinson. Sorry, it's only me. Um, I'm just asking. Um, Manners coming up, and is there anything else we need for Manners? No, no, we're all set here. We have got everything booked. Everything's organised. Um, I've been reliably informed that the groups and the dorms are done, but I'm not allowed to see it because. Mm. I'm not very Sorry. good at, if someone asks me, if someone's in my dorm, I'm, if I go, I can't tell you, they'll know. They'll just they can just tell if, I'm, if, if it's a good thing or a bad thing. So I'm not allowed to know. Um, we have got everything all in line. Just make sure that you've got, I mean, my, my top tip is um, make sure they've got a pair of shoes that they know to wear in the kayaks, okay? So they need to know which ones are their ones for getting really wet. They don't wear them down for the walk. They get changed into them and then they get changed out of them. And that's all we need to do for the wet stuff. They have a designated pair of shoes um, and long sleeved um, thin tops. It might be warm. Who knows? If it's like this, wouldn't that be amazing? Um, but they still have to wear a long sleeve to do anything that involves a harness. And um, I have had years before where they've had to wear like a really thick hoodie 
whilst doing these outward things in, in a really blazing hot day because they, they've only got t-shirts and long sleeve thick ones. But no, other than that, I think we're all set to go. I mean, to be honest, I only went the other week, so um, it's all very fresh in my mind because we only went in June. Do you have any things that you have a question about or any worries? No? Brilliant. Well, yeah, it's fine. No, it was more just is, is happening and will we see you again before it or do we just send them in with their suitcase? So, um. Yeah. I, I mean, I can run another meeting if it's useful. I could do maybe a drop. Oh, in. I don't think we need one. Yeah. No, no, I think it should be fine. We've got two coaches going um, because it's getting all that many children and that many bags on um, is, is quite a challenge. So we're going to try and make it easier on ourselves with two coaches this time round. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited. So yeah, thank be you. Good. You're welcome. Thanks. Anybody else? No. Oh, that's perfect. Um, well, we are here and you can test our timely response that we mentioned earlier by emailing in if you have any questions um, or phoning the office. We are about, I'm happy to meet people um, before school or after school, whatever yep. suits you best. Um, just let us know. The worst yep. thing you can do is sit on a worry because I know it is um, a big year for parents. You know, it is mm -hmm. the last year that, that your little darlings will be at a primary school and it is a big year. So, no worry is too small a worry for us to try and alleviate for you so just give us a call or drop us an email and we will get back to you as soon as we can but they are a lovely bunch we all keep saying what a lovely bunch of children we've got this year um and yeah. how m very much we're looking forward to a normal like a whole year of teaching a whole <laughs> year that would be great wouldn't it so um yeah keep washing your hands everyone that'd be great um on that note we'll sign off i guess Absolutely. anything else to add for me too no, no? just Get in touch if you have anything, any other questions, email or call the office. Perfect. Brilliant. Right, we'll go wash our hands now. <laughs> See you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs>